AI skills in combat. Arma AI are so much fun. They have a lot of ways they can be used and configured. I love AI. I use AI almost every day, sometimes twice a day. When it comes to configuring AI, the most important things are the AI skills and their combat behavior. These are the most important things when it comes to AI. There are many AI skills which all have individual effects and affect gameplay in different ways. The most important one is the AI aiming accuracy skill. It directly affects how accurate the AI can shoot. This has huge effects on gameplay and it affects the player experience playing against AI immensely. Low aiming accuracy will make the AI miss its targets, especially in longer ranges. Setting the AI accuracy extremely high will make the AI absolute laser kebab and they will hit most of their shots. The core edge skill is subtle but very important skill for the AI. It'll affect how severely suppression affects the AI, how aggressive they are in their movements and returning fire. While the effects of courage might not be obvious at first, having very low courage will make the AI hold position very often, go prone and shoot less frequently. In extreme scenarios, it can even lead to units fleeing combat. During combat, low courage will make AI get to their objective slower. Units with high courage will be a lot more aggressive and move over open areas even when taking heavy fire. Courageous AI are amazing at assaulting objectives. The final skill that's near and dear to my heart is spotting. Spotting skill affects how far and how fast can the AI detect targets. Outside of very rare niche stealth or nighttime scenarios, Spotting isn't a skill to play around and configure it, but to always put to the max. This is because Arma isn't a stealth game or a dating sim. Arma is a game about killing people and blowing things up. In Arma, there's a problem where the AI doesn't know enough about their targets. AI awareness to the presence of targets or even just knowing that there's danger in the area is very important. AI which are unaware or unresponsive to targets and danger in the area break the player's immersion. When there's a firefight going on in Town A, not only should all the enemies in and around Town A be alerted, the enemies in the next town should also be alerted because gunfire can be heard very far. AI become aware of targets when they visually spot them or if they're in the same group with another unit who spotted a target. The AI also become instantly aware of their target when they are hit by someone or if they hear gunshots very close. However, in vanilla, this range is very small. This is what makes me really angry and furious when I shoot and the AI don't care I'm there until I actually hit them. And even then, the AI that are even 20, 30 meters away from that are completely unaware. They are safe even when there is danger lurking around. This really makes me feel like they don't care about me at all. Whether the AI care or don't is determined by the AI behavior. This is their stance or alertness and it's easily visually observable. Safe is the default stance for the AI. This is when they feel safe and their weapons are down and they're not alerted to presence of any enemies. When AI feels safe when they shouldn't, that's an issue. Aware behavior is when the AI have their weapons at ready. And this is one of the best behaviors that the AI have. Even when engaged in a firefight, aware AI can follow waypoints with a little friction. Combat behavior is the most tactical behavior. It makes AI break formation and look for cover as much as possible. Movement is very slow, especially in towns. While this can be a very immersive and tactical representation of combat, this does have its own issues. It will make AI really, really slow at following waypoints, causing various headaches when making scenarios. The feature that forces the AI into the combat stance is called Auto Combat. By default this feature is enabled, so when the AI is engaged, it automatically switches to the combat behavior. 
Disabling auto combat can be very hot, as not being in combat allows the AI to reach their waypoints a lot faster. As a demonstration, I've set up blue and green units with waypoints on the other side of the town. The only difference is, for the blue units, auto combat is disabled. There's a firefight in town! The green units have entered the combat! Behavior! Although the green units have not been directly engaged, they break formation and look for cover. As the blue units make haste, they break formation due to high amounts of obstructions. Meanwhile, the green units are colossally being slowed down by the first compound they ran into. There are a lot of places to take cover and hide, so they're gonna take it extremely slow. The blue units carry on with little regard for their safety as getting to their destination is their priority number one. The worst thing that could happen now would be an ambush from an enemy unit. Oh no, an enemy is approaching the blue unit! Oh no, the blue unit is taking fire! As the blue units take casualties, the green units have finally passed the first compound. As seen, in certain scenarios auto combat off can be better than auto combat on. However, I think it's best to mix units with auto combat on and off to have certain units go to their waypoints faster and certain units go tactically and slower and shoot. And in the end of the day, it comes down to what fits the scenario the best. Configuring AI is a lot of fun. There's a lot of knobs to turn, twist and pop. I really appreciate AI that fits its specific scenario, its aesthetic and its purpose. Different AI configurations can be fun for different reasons. Dominating gorillas and rebels can be a lot of fun, while fighting more challenging conventional forces can lead to more satisfaction and a sense of accomplishment. Configuring skills using a script is a lot of fun. Script will easily set specific skills for entire factions, plus allow having special cases for AT or snipers. Because I love using low accuracy AI, I've created a new issue where the AI will run low of ammo very frequently. I like gunfire. When gunfire stops, I become sad. So to fix this, I simply give the AI a script that gives them infinite ammo. To fix AI being unaware and not knowing about the player, I use a script that allows the AI to relay information about any targets. Using these scripts requires CBA3 and setting them up is as easy as dropping it in init.sqf and tweaking some of the configurations. Before I forget, the server view distance has an effect on the AI detection range, especially on the vehicle detection range. And speaking of the server, the server config will also affect how the AI skill is applied. Setting the AI accuracy at 0.1 on a client and then on a server might have a completely different accuracy. So I find it really important to always test the AI skill on the server as well. Sometimes the AI makes it really easy to hate it, but I love AI. I use AI almost every day, sometimes twice a day. 